Good morning, you guys. So I um, just got up. Uh, it's like 11:42. I got up like 10 minutes ago. Um, so yeah, of course I stayed up till like one. So of course I slept in today. Um, I stepped on the scale, as you know. I do a daily drop. Do a daily. Uh, step on, and, you know, I'm averaging, I've been averaging, like, um, a pound, but because I burned so many calories yesterday, I think, and I, and I didn't, like, overeat like I usually do, because I usually eat a lot of, and when I burn a lot of calories, I, I dropped, like, a pound point six, but, you know, I've also been working really hard this week, so I'm guessing more than likely that's what the pound point four was. Boy, I'm, I'm really, really hungry, too, right now. But I'm going to be careful about my food for the next week as well. And I should see even more weight dropping off, so that's good, too. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Anyway, today is... What is today? I didn't mention that. It's the 16th. It's Saturday, uh, March 16th. 2013. Breakfast. Um, going crisp cinnamon crust crumbles by Kashi. With uh, I, this time it's three quarters of a cup of almond milk, the unsweetened kind. And I'm starting my first water. No, I'm not showing it. It's bite of crepes time. Yummy. Hey guys, I just completed cardio one. Uh, my uh, uh, calories burned for 26 minutes was 262. It's not bad, because it's 26 minutes. I mean, I know I've done slightly better, but I'm a little tired, as you can probably guess, you know. Walking so much, and walking fast, just to tired my body out. I'm gonna do Pilates today, because I think I need a good stretch. After three, the three days of working my ass off, trying to get some weight off. Um, my total for this week is 2.8 pounds. Uh, I know that it, I dropped 0.4 yesterday and then I dropped 1.4 today. It said I dropped 1.4 today. I actually don't think that's just from yesterday. I mean, partially from yesterday. But I don't think it's just from yesterday. I think that that is a combination of all the changes I've been making of my foods and the fact that I've been ramping it up slowly but surely throughout the week because I've been slowing down so bad and I wanted to kind of ramp it up as I went. So I think that's a combination of all the work I did. Um, and I do anticipate seeing more weight falling off this week from the, all the work I've done this week. And especially if I can continue to ramp up next week because I am going to continue with uh, one and two next week. Um, basically I'm treating this week like the beginning of uh, the beginning, like starting over or whatever, because I really, the first week really was not a full week. So we're going to treat last week as restarting completely. And so I'm going to do one and two again next week. And then the week after I'll start three and four again. And I'm tired. But I, I need to take like a, I need to eat like a snack. Not sure if I'm gonna just have nuts or if I'm gonna have uh, one of my uh, uh, what are they called uh, trail mixes where they're a mix of things. I might just do nuts. This is a little higher in calories, but we'll see. So, and just me. Oh, well, I kind of changed my mind. I decided to make oatmeal and add a tablespoon of pecans and a teaspoon of rush garlic. Yeah, um, it's really good. I love it. You know, I'm not gonna do the uh, Pilates today. After all, I'm I'm pretty tired from still from yesterday, and I think I'll just overdo it a little. So maybe tomorrow I'll do the Pilates. I'll see how I feel in the morning. If I if I'm really sore, I may just. But I'll do it with the medium resistance rather than the heavy resistance because I think it'll make my me ha my body happier if I do a medium resistance because I know the heavy resistance might actually hurt me. Uh, I'm kind of gradually going back into it. I do want to do it more, but right now I'm try 
I'm having success without it, so we're gonna... Maybe I'll just do it on rest days? I don't know, I have to think about it. I might do it with heavy resistance. We'll see how I feel. Anyway, that's it for now. Finally getting around to cooking my beans. These are the pinto beans. They're simmering slowly for two week, two hours. And I also have white beans simmering slowly for two hours. And black eyed peas slowly simmering for two hours. Hmm, I'm going to make a soup out of these ingredients. It's not much, but it's something. So I have uh, about two cups of um, cauliflower, one stalk of celery, one carrot, and a half a cup of lentils, and three cups of water, and I'm going to cook it for about two hours. I need to add some flavoring, so probably a bay leaf and a little bit of uh, rosemary. Here's my lunch. It is uh, seven grain bread with uh, peanut butter in the middle, like one tablespoon. So, two pieces of bread, yummy sandwich. Having a snack, it's uh, orange and a string cheese. Yummy, delicious, snacky poo. I'm starting on my third 24 ounce water, so that's good too, sweetness. And my black eyed peas are cooked, my white beans are cooked, and my pinto beans are cooked. Now I can mix them with stuffs. Delicious. Cauliflower and lentil soup. So it's got cauliflower, lentils, uh, carrots, uh, one, uh, some celery, and a little bit of rosemary flavoring and a bay leaf. And that's about it. I, I added just now, added a little salt because it's kind of blah. But it tastes a little better now. I add a little tiny bit of salt. So there. It's good though. I like it. Well, here is my last snack. It's popcorn, of course. It's the Jolly Time Healthy Pop. It's the whole bag, which comes out to be about eight cups in my um, stupid microwave. Because my microwave doesn't like, like, if, if I try to get all ten and a half cups, it burns half the popcorn. So I just have to go with the whole eight cups, that's it, and have lots of old maids, which is kind of frustrating, but that's okay. It's still good, and I like it. So it's a 160 calorie meal. Uh, snack, whatever. Mmm, um.